Cerberus is launching another offensive. Looks like I'm not the only one who didn't like your little speech, Arya. Glad I got his attention. Commander, landing pads are yours. My people and I will hold the main doors. Got it. Talons will join your cause. Someone's got to make sure you don't run roughshod over our people. You see, Shepard. Let me guess. She said I was predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Pretty much word for word. She thinks she's playing you. Nothing new here. One thing, though. I maintain command over my people. This is not up for debate. Just have them ready. Oh, they'll be ready. We're almost there, Shepard. The Talons will be the frontline fodder, now we just need to bring down the force fields to clear the way to afterlife. Which will release Omega civilians. Cerberus will have a million fires to put out. In one fell swoop, we'll have the people in the Talons working for us. You might not want to compromise your alliance before it even takes shape. I've learned not to put much stock in truth and goodwill. It might be time to start again. Tell you what, I'll take it under advisement. Now, I'll be at the command console plotting our next move. Talk to me, Az. I've located the source that's powering the Cerberus force fields. 
Yes, I see. Shepard, take a look at this. The General is siphoning power from one of my main reactors deep in the bowels of Omega's mines. Unfortunately, access is cut off by the force fields themselves. Not completely. There's an open route through that dark area, then up. Hmm. The processing plant for one of the mines. It's been powered down. No force fields blocking it. We infiltrate there, find our way through the mine, then take that elevator to the reactor's back door. Good eyes, Shepard. Let's go. Not without me. Aryan, my patrol caught her in the perimeter. Please, you didn't catch me. We're allies now. Didn't Arya tell you? Nyrene was expected, Bray. Return to your station. The Talons are ready, but if I'm sending my people into the breach, I want to make sure those force fields come down for good. So like it or not, you're stuck with me. It's almost as if you don't trust me. It's exactly as if I don't trust you. We're going to war together. I'll make sure we can rely on each other. Agreed, Commander. Glad one of you isn't on a power trip. Go wait by the med bay, Nyrene. We'll join you shortly. Shepard, I have last-minute orders to dole out. I'll meet you there, too. I know time is short, but I was hoping we could talk. Alone. Arya will be joining us soon. Now may be our only chance. I'm not trying to undermine Arya. I know she has to be ruthless. Let her have revenge. I'm not doing this for me, and I'm not doing it for Arya or what we once had. It's for the people of Omega. I get it. Someone has to be their voice in all this. Incredibly powerful forces are about to do battle, with them caught in the middle. I just hope, as we bring down those force fields and go to war, that you can keep the people in mind. What's your impression of Petrovsky? An adversary worthy of respect. And not just because he's shrewd. When I was starting to organize the Talons, he offered amnesty to anyone who set down their weapon. A few of my people surrendered, and he made good on his word. So he has a code. And, as near as I can tell, it doesn't exactly match the elusive man's. Are your people ready for the fight? You needn't worry about the Talons, Shepard. They were thieves and scoundrels once, but they serve with integrity now. We're fighting for a better world. I have to wonder if the same can be said for our sorry friend. I suppose we'll know soon enough. How did you get mixed up with Arya? I was happy in the Turian military, but when my biotic abilities started to manifest, my superiors saw fit to reallocate me. They practically locked me away. I couldn't use my skills to benefit my people, so I quit. I floated around the galaxy, looking for a new purpose. And you found your way here? More like I lost my way here. But then there was this beautiful, fierce creature who didn't let anyone define her. I'll admit, I was mesmerized. I wanted a little bit of that to rub off on me. How close were you two? The draw was undeniable. Her strengths mirrored my insecurities. Maybe deep down it was the same for her. But trying to be with her turned into trying to be her. Irene Kandros was vanishing. You seem like your own person to me. For all the drama between us? I'm grateful to Arya. She helped me remember who I am. It took a lot to break away from her. But I regret nothing. You're a veteran. Why are you so disturbed by these adjutants? I know fighting Reapers is old hat to you, Commander. But these... What they do to people? They could still be out there. And if they return, I don't want to even think about what would happen to Omega's people. The image of that drives me. And haunts me. What do you know about the Cerberus force fields? The technology comes from beyond the Omega-4 relay. Flesh disintegrates upon contact. The power required must be enormous. I fear that disrupting it could destabilize other systems on the station. I hope we'll proceed with care and certainty. I appreciate it, Nyrene. We're heading out soon. I'll be ready. We're arriving at one of the ESO processing plants. It's been powered down, so we'll have to pry open the door. I'll get it. 
access to the mine should be on the far side. And the reactor is beyond that? According to the schematics, I ran Omega and Irene. I didn't work the mines myself. No, you had indentured servants for that. Spirits. Relax. They're all Cerberus. They've been ripped to shreds. I don't like this. More dead. It's a bloodbath. I've got a bad feeling. We shouldn't be... Quiet. What's that sound? An adjutant. Oh no. The general must have locked this place down to keep it inside. The elevator to the mines is through that door. It's deactivated. Then we need to power this place up. There should be a master circuit breaker somewhere. The whispering's receding. Maybe the adjutant doesn't like its odds. Don't kid yourself. I've seen one of those things take down a squad of soldiers. There's the power control. When this is over, there'll be a lot of repairs to make. I hope you'll focus on the civilian areas first. You are relentless. That's one thing we have in common. Spirits! <laughs> Wake up! I hate those things. Hate should make you deadlier. That looked like fear to me. All right, back to the door. Another one. Fire at will. Stay alert. All right, into the elevator. I'll see the door, just in case. On to the mines. What's eating you? Just processing. It's clear the general sealed that area to keep the adjutants in. Along with some unlucky soldiers. Yes. The creatures killed them, but didn't turn them into more adjutants. Can't shake it. Something's off. You just spooked. There's a rhythm to this place, Arya. To Cerberus. If you'd stuck it out here, maybe you'd feel it too. Whatever's in our way, we'll deal with it. You can hear the drills. Damn it. They shouldn't be straining like that. Cerberus must be working them hard. somewhere on the upper level. Let's find a way up there. Strange. We're not being attacked anymore. Yep, be ready for anything. Why are you grinning, Arya? We're almost there. When the force fields come down, this war finally begins. For some of us, it started months ago. That wasn't war, babe. That was just warm up. Here's the reactor. Straight ahead.
looks like we were expected. More like lured. I knew the reactor would be the hard target. I gave you no choice but this route. It's too bad you're on the elusive man's side, Petrovsky. I'm on humanity's side. You're the ones trying to start a war for the glory of Arya. But now it's over. This isn't over until your next of kin can't identify you. I love your bravado, but have the sense to know when you're beaten. You've been neutralized, and I can leave you there to rot. You might as well give up. Never. Arya, what are you thinking? I'm not going out like this. Arya, don't! <laughs>
okay? Despite your best efforts to kill me, your soft heart almost cost me everything. Quiet, Arya. It worked. Shepard saved us without sacrificing innocent lives. I applaud him. I suppose. Whatever. You fought bravely against those mechs in there, Nyrene. Very impressive. But? Why can't you bring that same grit when adjutants attack? It's pathetic. You tense up at the mere mention of those abominations. Lay off. She just saved you. I'm trying to help her, Shepard. Call it tough love. The war's starting. I don't mean to miss it. She's never been big on thank yous.